everybody. Travis Chandler of Chandler Gaming back here with the final episode of the Soldier series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. You'll be notified of all my videos. Just gonna get down to it here. Guy. Like I said, this is the final episode. I'm just going to finish this runoff. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to play next. Part of me wants to do Dragon Age. Um, I got looking around yesterday and I ended up finding a new Game Boy Advance emulator. It's probably been out for a while, but um, it's new to me anyway. Um, it's called MGBA. And let me tell you, it's awesome. It's awesome. I had to install it on my computer, which is weird. I've never had to install a an emulator before, but you no, know, it, it's pretty neat. And what's really cool about it, not only does it play Game Boy Advance games, it also plays the Game Boy and Game Boy Color games too. It's so cool. It, it really is. It's so cool. And if you play the old Game Boy games on it, um, it acts like a Super Game Boy. Which is really neat. So, I don't know. I, I might play some Pokemon. I, I don't know yet. Um, what are we doing? We're gonna see what Tally and Garrus are doing. Probably getting some... Probably Garrus is getting some fucky sucky. I don't know. Okay, so that was just the lady saying thanks for saving our lives on that planet. Um, Yeah, but um, like I said, that I, I don't know what I'm going to do for my next game. I haven't decided yet. Oh, we were just... Uh... Oh, shit. I, well, I, I just... Uh, I came to say goodbye, and, well... Yeah, uh, I, I think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you, you know, because of infection <laughs> risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So... Yeah. I've never seen this! I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. And I'm okay with that. At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wonder about. <laughs> I never knew Garrus and Callie got together. I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that at all. 
that's actually kind of funny. All right, we're going. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here, we're going. message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Oh shit, it's Admiral Hackett himself. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Okay, so now we're gonna take back London. We don't want the London bridges to fall down. <laughs> Outward damage, outward damage, our recharge. 
We get weapon damage. We'll OG it. Why not? We'll OG it. Approaching Soul Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Alliance fleet reporting. Turian fleet reporting. Asari fleet's reporting. Reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Reapers just don't give a shit. Here's something though too. Why didn't they bring back Harbinger? It's not like we killed Harbinger in the second. On my command, engage the Reaper forces. Roger that. All fighters on me. Shepard. Good luck. You too, Joker. Position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining sword. Stand
stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell? Take a look for yourself. It doesn't even look like Earth. Got a lock. Hold on. Damn it! Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon! And how are we gonna do that? The down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you! Okay. Okay. You're getting lag like fucking crazy, and I don't know why. Damn, I can't stay here, sir. Get clear. Come get us while you're taking that turret up. Roger that. Cortez out. All right, everyone. Let's move. There we go. Yeah. Okay, who's got what for bullets? You got warp. This is Captain Johnson. The is getting torn apart. We need those guns offline now. Watch it, you got roots. Oh, well, it was shaking. That worked. Got us a brute. There he is. There he was. Another brute. Oh, we took him down while he was shaking. <laughs> oh. There we go. I don't really care for London. I really don't. Not in real life. I've never been to London, but... But I'm just talking here. I, I don't really care for London. It's such a pain in the ass to kill things. It's such a pain in the ass to... Through with the shaking, it, it sort of makes me sick. I'm gonna try to keep him off you. Careful, Cortez.
Oh, I was trying to shoot around the corner. Got rid of that fucking thing. That's it. Last gun down. All hammer teams, prepare for landing. Oh wait, we could pick up another one? Anybody, come in. We need extraction. Heads up. I didn't need ammo, I wouldn't have ran out here like this. Get us out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. I knew you would be. It's good to see you. And your sight for sore eyes. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding the forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. The commander can take the credit for that. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear.
you set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Okay. There's some things you can do. Hammer here by now, too. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here has been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Like I said, there's a bunch of things you can do here. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to run through. Because you can talk to your squad mates. You can call people. You can... I'm just gonna skip through it. I'm just gonna just run. I was gonna say, is that Jacob? No, it's not Jacob. you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supply. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? chance we get to say that. Think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. <laughs> Sorry, Torians don't know how. But I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back.
haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Sure. I've got a moment. Close your eyes. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. What's his condition? The bleeding. There's a lot of blood. His leg was blown off by the knee. Okay, and I'll try to stay calm. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. <laughs> well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more, but I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. Perhaps I will write a book with the Asar, with Dr. Tessoni. She suggests journeys with the Prothean. You do that? I will need a job. There will be no Reapers left to kill. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Prothean speak. It has been a privilege. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Bakara sent her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. Suck it up! What about this, though? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Likely. I spent three days in that center, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping in a move. move. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Shepard, I have 
question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Tally Zoravas Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more biggies? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no-man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. Oh, trust me, we will. We will. <laughs>
This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. Expect no mercy, show no mercy. You fight or you die. That's the way it should be. All right. Recharge speed. Uh. Here's does weapon damage. Okay. Do damage for you. Boom, there you go. Okay. What I was trying to do. Ooh, got them both. All companies report in. Artillery companies able through Foxtrot are en route. Roger that. Golf through November, taking up right flank, pressing forward. We'll just take the so, leg out. We'll kill you. No retreat.
dog got blown up. That's how you do that. <laughs> Back off, bitch. <laughs> Dude, did I headshot him? I think I did with that blood splatter there. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was cool. I've never headshot a brute before. Getting slaughtered out here, Commander. Damn it! Kale Company's being rooted. Some more ammo. Make it go. Get back, bitches. All right, people. Eyes peeled. The buildings will give us some cover, but it gives them a place to hide. Roger that. Was in cover. Look at that. Dad, this is Delta. We're being overrun. Watch your location. Ah! God damn it. There he is. There he was. Perhaps ammo here. His head off. Evil company's broken through. Christ, that destroyer is huge. Hold your position. The rest of Hammer is still en route.
Foxtrot and India are here, but severely depleted. We're lost in contact with Gulf. All companies prep Phoenix missiles. Be ready, people. How are we supposed to take that thing down? We're waiting for it to get close. Then we hit it with everything we've got. Our guidance systems are buggered. Roger that. Our engineers are on it. I think it's got something to do with the beam. <laughs> Killed the other one and he didn't fall. Going for the tanks! Protect the tanks at all costs. Without those missiles, we've got no chance.
I caught him right in the little hole. That was cool. I heard one. Through the debris. That was cool.
Shepard! Over here! Thank God you made it. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several Sovereign class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger. It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. how the crucible moved it has its own propulsion okay Here on in, it's a straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. I'm honored to be part of your team. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Oh. Shit. Oh, I forgot about this. You gotta dodge the fucking Reaper.
the end. I need to know somebody's getting out of this alive. Just make damn sure that includes you too. Even if I am the better shot. Always. <laughs> Take care, Garrus. Not a good shot, am I? I hated this almost dead scene. Because you have to hobble through it and you have to do it manually. I get it. If you're almost dead, you'd be hobbling like that too. I get it, but still. Keeper. Anderson, you up here too?
just gotta keep moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. <clears throat> Makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Uh -oh. Sure. They round them up on Earth? Then send the people up here to be processed. Goddamn abomination. I'm gonna keep moving. The sooner we blow these bastards back to hell, the better. The tubes don't go on forever. But where the hell are we? Yeah. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned. I hated this because there was nothing for you to do here except just walk. I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm we're talking about. Hold on. I see something. Anderson. Damn it. Anderson. survival, control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. They're controlling you! I don't think so, Adam. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relay, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined. There were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because... we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty the Crucible 
will allow me to control. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they do. Look at what they do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control it. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You. You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. You're not yourself anymore. We've taken you. No! You're the one who failed! could see it like I do, Shepard. It's so uh, perfect. This is it, everyone. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. 
feels like years since I had just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? to do. Citadel was the catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? To what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst, but what are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? 
by ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expecting. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You've said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines, programmed to do what we're told. You have hope, more than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, 
others will be destroyed as well. The crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy. The essence of who and what you are will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The, the cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. Okay, so which one am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna go for synthesis. Which is straight ahead. Now, I hated this. I hated having to do this because you had to do it manually. I'm sure there's an add-on where you just pick the choice and it just triggers the cutscene.
Crucible, what it's doing, it's using the mass relays to send out all the energy. But because of it, it destroys the mass relays. Collective knowledge of the cultures that came before. As a galaxy, we can now live the lives we have wished for. Taking our first steps into a new and wonderful future, where organics and synthetics can coexist peacefully. With peace across the galaxy and with unlimited access to knowledge,
to recover the greatness that was lost. And surpass it. We will reclaim our worlds and the stars. As the line between synthetic and organic disappears, we may transcend mortality itself to reach a level of existence I cannot even imagine. And we will remember that this chance for a new life did not come without cost. how far we advance, we will remember the sacrifices of those who made it possible. And we will remember Shepard. Because of him, I am alive. And I am not alone. Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. So that's the end of this series of Mass Effect. Like I said, I don't know what game I'm going to play next. I haven't decided yet. Um, you know, it's been a long time since I've played Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And with MGBA, I did find you can trade Pokemon with it. And I've never beaten Ruby and Sapphire. I mean, I've, I've beaten the Elite Four, but I've never completed the Pokedex. So that would be something I'd like to do. So... I don't know. 
But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this series, and I'll see you all in the next series.